the first half has just begun. Come on, you Blues, get the win and get a stronger hold on your position in the top four. Come on. Just over 12 minutes have been played. Chelsea have made a decent start to the match, and I have to I have to say that Tottenham Hotspur could have been one 0 up um, through a shot from Steven Bergevin. I think it was after we gave the ball away in our defensive third. So we almost shot ourselves in the foot, but I do think that we've started fairly well so far. It's Chelsea 1, it's Tottenham Hotspur 0, Olivier Giroud slams the ball into the back of the net from fairly close range, or inside the box shall I say, and with the way we've started this game I think we've deserved it, and it was a good finish I have to say, it, was, it, it came at the third time of asking because Ross Barkley took a shot before, and Olivier Giroud took a shot as well which hit the post, and it rebounded, and he... And, um, he just hit into the bottom corner, giving Hugo Lloris no chance. But yes, a good goal and a good start to the match. Chelsea lead Tottenham Hotspur by one goal to nil. Just over 33 minutes have been played, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, in the last 5 to 10 minutes or so, the game has become a little bit cagey. There's not really been a flow to the game in the last 5 to 10 minutes or so, and for that reason, there's not been too many chances for me to talk about. Less than seven minutes plus additional time left at the end of the first half. We are into one minute of additional time at the end of the first half. It's half time, it's Chelsea 1, it's Tottenham Hotspur 0, a good first half from us. We pressed them really well, created some chances, although we did not take all of them, and we defended really well as well. So, good first half from us, and we deserve the lead. I'll see you all for the second half. The second half has just begun. Come on, you Blues, score some more goals and get the win to strengthen your position in the top four. Come on, Chelsea. It's Chelsea 2, it's Tottenham Hotspur 0. Marcos Alonso gets another goal against Tottenham Hotspur, and what a fantastic team goal this was. Um, brilliant cross on the right hand side. I believe Mason Mount um, passes it on to Marcos Alonso, who had a lot of space on the, in the left channel um, just outside the box. And what does he do? He drives it into the bottom left, he drives it into the bottom right corner. Guys, I can't even speak right now, I'm that nervous. But what a fantastic start to the second half. And with, with the way we've been playing up to this point, we've thoroughly deserved it. It's Chelsea 2, it's Tottenham Hotspur 0. Come on! Ross Barkley has won Chelsea their first corner of the second half, and I believe it will be taken from the left-hand side. I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to see, and I think Mason Mount will be taking it. Oh yeah, Dumbly. Tottenham Hotspur's first change of the match sees Eric Lamella come on for Tangai and Dombele. Mason Mount has won Chelsea a free kick in the right attacking midfield position. I'm not entirely sure who will be taking it, but please Chelsea, just get a third from it. Nearly 69 minutes have been played, and I have to say that Tottenham Hotspur have been putting us under a little bit of pressure, and as of now, we just cannot get the ball. Chelsea's first substitution of the match sees Tammy Abraham go on for Olivier Giroud, who has, who has had an absolutely fantastic game, scored the first goal, and what a brilliantly taken goal it was. But yes, Tammy Abraham has come on for, for um, Olivier Giroud for Chelsea. Chelsea's second substitution of the match sees Ross Barkley go off for Willian, who I think has had a really good game. Deli Ali and Serge Aurier come on for Steven Bergwijn and Toby Alderweireld. Mason Mount wins Chelsea a free kick just inside the D and just outside the box of course. I'm not entirely sure who will be taking it, but hopefully we get a third from it and kill the game. Come on. Marcos Alonso takes the free kick, he shoots from the free kick position, it hits the bar and for me Hugo Lloris was beaten, absolutely beaten and if it went under the bar I think that would have been a goal. But yes, that was very unlucky but there are also less than 7 minutes plus additional time at the end of the match. It's Chelsea 2, it's Tottenham Hotspur 1, Antonio Rudiger puts the ball into the back of his own net and I have to say this is very unlucky, I think it was either Giovanni Lo Celso or Lamella who took the shot, is Lamella even on the pitch? I'm not entirely sure, I'm, I'm that tired guys. Um, but one of their attacking players took a shot and it took a, it took a wicked deflection off of um, Antonio Rudiger and it went into the back of the net, very unlucky like I said already and 
it, it just is what it is. Um, it's Chelsea 2, it's Tottenham Hotspur 1, and we're into four minutes of additional time at the end of the match. It's full time. The final score is Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. A thoroughly deserved win. I thought we were the better side for large parts of the game. We scored two fantastic goals, one in each half, and the own goal at the end was very unfortunate. I'm not going to slate Antonio Rudiger for that in my review. But yes, we thoroughly deserved to win, and we've strengthened our position in the top four, which was the objective um, pre kickoff or, or pre match, shall I say. But yes, a fantastic win, a fantastic performance. And that's the first time we've done the double. Uh, that's the first time we've done a Premier League double over Tottenham Hotspur in a very long while. That's the first time I've ever seen us do the Premier League double over Tottenham Hotspur, and that just that's just absolutely fantastic. But yes, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. And peace. Yes. <laughs>